Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, I think we're in the right street. Okay, sorry to disturb you. Uh, looking for you in the, from the taxi. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> so I'm starting today's video in North Ockham Park. This is the Eve of Bingen and I'm going to show you something very special and beautiful that happens at this time of the year. This I guess is the uh, pre-events the Buddhist monks have just turned up and shortly we'll be going to the temple for the cutting of the hair and as this video goes along and I understand a bit more I'll be sharing with you so thank you to Kendra for the honor of coming along to this event today <laughs> So I think this is our young Novi, it's here. I don't even have the words to explain this experience. Smile, smile. Smile, smile. Hi, 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 as the family prepared, each detail spoke with the depth of commitment and cultural reverence in Burmese society. The family's meticulous preparations and offerings, the beautiful clothing, they all show a powerful connection to the community and spirituality. I love it. Life is all around me happening as uh, we get prepared to go to the temple. And I think it's happening in the local corner store here. Just uh, typical slices of Burmese life here. So, uh, so blessed to be able to drive it along today. This traditional Burmese novice monk initiation is a deeply significant rite of passage for young boys and it marks their first step into monastic life. So for these young men, after they cut their hair, I guess it's an initiation into the culture and the religious way of life. And they can stay with their practice for, you know, two or three days to experience what it would be like to be a Buddhist monk. I also know that for some people, and some, sometimes, you know, I understand their feeling, that maybe I feel strongly on one thing in Eve that I have a calling and I might like to join. So that happens to many Myanmar people here where they might take on uh, being a monk for a year just to uh, I guess, feel closer to all things that truly connect us. Our lives are so transient and this symbolizes spiritual renewal and the beginning of new paths. All right, looks like things are hotting up. Seems like we're on the root move now. People are gathering together all of the presents, the offerings, and uh, I think we're going somewhere. The funny thing that I need to share is Kendra, who invited me to film today's ceremony, lives exactly parallel, one street in okay, front of where I filmed my Mahinda gifting now. video. In fact, the cars are parked in the same street. As a Jungian, I don't believe in mere coincidences. Well, it seems that there's an energy drawing me back to this exact same <laughs> spot again. Perhaps it's my destiny to return here and to tell the stories of the Burmese people with reverence and respect. Okay. Driving to the pagoda, my thoughts wandered as I thought of a friend. 30 minutes prior, I received news of the sudden passing yes. of her father oh, on the like eve of Eid. So in Europe, we hang football flags out the car for happy occasions when we win. Here in Myanmar, it's golden umbrellas. <laughs> her father's passing reminded me how short and fragile our lives are. So I guess it brought an added layer of meaning to this celebration of life and renewal. So this video will be shot over two days because this is a ceremonial hair cutting and there will be another gifting like the Mahinga video.
so what I'm seeing now is the party is going around and taking the blessings at the different icons here and the small pagodas within this large pagoda complex here. <laughs> So now we've taken the blessings from the pagoda, the next stop is going to be the monastery. The heart of the ceremony for day one unfolded here at the monastery. This is where the ritual shaving of hair took place. This act is a symbol of letting go, so it speaks of the novices' readiness to shed their past for spiritual growth. So we've just had the prayers now and everybody's getting ready to move outside to do the shaving of the hair. What I found deeply moving about this was, it just hit me at a certain moment, that this is a rite of passage, something that we've lost in the West. And uh, I was watching all the uncles, the aunties, the family, generations here together sharing this passage with this, these young men. And I guess that that gives them the courage and the strength. And uh, there's just so many levels at which you can understand this. Just very simple in this very small monastery, but uh, I personally found it deeply moving. <laughs> What's happening is some of the senior members of this party are going first with the shaving ceremony and then Kendra explained to me that uh, some of these are their workers is what I understand, may or may not be correct, but anyway that uh, they've helped them with that so that they can participate and to me it just seems like it's a nice way of the elders going first to give the young boys courage to do this next step. The sight of a young boy trying as his hair was shaved made me realise that despite the surface level differences of culture, we're really just all the same. Who hasn't smiled as a toddler has made an enormous fuss when he gets his hair cut? It also reminded me of the bittersweet transitions of growing up. Have a nice. Very nice. Thank you. Mm. Oh, that's so cute. Like all children around the world, he's crying because he's getting his hair cut. It's both funny and uh, really sweet at the same time. After the ceremony, the mood lightened as we shared ice cream and you can hear the giggles about all the fuss. It was beautiful to look at the love, connection, smiles and sharing. It's a simple yet powerful reminder of life's continuous cycle of birth and life renewal and departure. So maybe it's not so bad after all, because uh, like a dentist visit in the West, after all the crying about getting the hair cut, you get some ice cream. We 
returning home in the taxi, the day's events lingered in my mind. And that's it for day one. So we're going to come back tomorrow morning at nine o'clock to see how our young Nobiates, initiates to D, how they're going. Ready to return the next day, camera in hand. I'm reminded of the transient yet timeless nature of our earthly existence and the mysterious forces that guide my path. There we go, look, 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 look. <laughs> See, so this is the crying baby and the next day still feels a bit weird, hey? We're still giving it a bit of a scratch. It's not so bad. <laughs>